Hey, how's it going? Spy here and welcome back to another long drive episode and today we're gonna be venturing out into the apocalyptic wasteland of a desert right here to find a brand new pickup truck. That's right, there was a new update and we're gonna be saying goodbye to our precious car here. It was good, but there's a new vehicle on the block car and you're gonna be replaced today. But that's not all that was added. If you check out the bottom left here, we now have hunger, we now have thirst, health, stuff like that. So there's cool new survival features in a game that you would think would have survival features from the start. We're gonna be heading out to a building to see if we can find this new truck. And we're gonna be venturing in that new vehicle, see what's going on. Did I just hit a rabbit? Uh, no one saw that. That, that was a little weird. And we're gonna be, wait, Philip? Philip the severed hand, you're deteriorating. Oh no, his family is too. What the heck happened in this update? It's awesome, I love it. Uh, I did see that there is a diner somewhere over here, right up here. Uh, all right, let's see. Everything just spawned in. Wait, what's that to the left? We have a pickup truck. It has tires. Uh, it's a little rusty though, but there it is. This thing looks awesome. Uh, I hear a zombie rabbit too. Hop out, grab my AK-47. Oh, right there. Uh, nope, that's a rock. I, I can't see a thing. All right, look at this. Oh, pickup truck check under the hood it has a brand new engine does it have any fuel in it it has diesel whoa it even has a truck bed oh this is so cool let's hop in our new vehicle here and take it for a test drive look at that a working mirror okay here we go we're gonna start this bad boy up and see if it works oh listen to that it drives so good even though it doesn't have the best wheels on it so we might have to get some big old off-road tires for this guy eventually. But it works! So what I gotta do now is I have to hop out and transfer these tires off the car onto this one because this one's kind of gross. Get all the stuff put on the truck here. Maybe the, the engine too. You know what? I'm just gonna take this off right now. Come on. Get. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. That thing is so heavy. I guess I could just push it over like this and then put it in the back of the truck. Uh, is the truck even gonna- is the truck even gonna be able to carry this? Is the question. Uh, pop- ooh! The truck bed- trunk thing even opens! Okay, here we go. Get this thing in the back, because eventually I wanna try putting this in the truck and see if it goes really fast, but... Here we go! Ooh! It- it kind- the suspension kinda- it- it's a little heavy. We're gonna need our water- cooler coolant thing as well you know what? i'm just gonna rip out the standard one here and put this one in right away boom because that big one is a lot better even though it kind of sticks out the front but it's fine by the way if you'd like to see more long drive on the channel don't forget to smack that like button for more survival oh i forgot we have hunger and thirst i should probably be quick okay let's get these new tires on night is coming boom oh yeah look at this we're from a pit crew bang i already prepared this Boom, and this is our kind of new truck. It's starting to look really good. Now we need to go find some paint. Oh, a red could look good for now. Okay, let's go over here and see what it looks like as a red, even though I should probably shine it up a little bit first. Yeah, there we go. That's uh, good enough. And let's start painting. If you have a suggestion on what color you would like to see this truck, let me know down below. But for now, that works. And night is coming. So I'm going to want to hop in the truck pretty soon and go to sleep. But first thing, I want to add like a little, a little tool rack thing on the back of the truck. Like, boom. <laughs> Something like that just to hold everything in. All right, time to sleep. Here we go. First night in our truck. Um... It's like any other vehicle. We sleep in it and now it's morning. Yeah, so check this out. And we're gonna be saying goodbye to Philip's family. This is where their their stop is at the diner. Uh, uh Philip, are you are you okay? You're looking a little weird, but look at this. We got a new pickup truck. Just hop right in, buddy. We're going for a ride. Now um, I should probably drive this over to the back or something to see if we could find some food. But here we go in our brand new pickup truck. This thing is amazing. I, I actually really love it. I don't know if I like the red on it. But, ooh, look at this. 
We have a refrigerator. Uh, what's inside? Oh, are these cookies? I should probably eat these. Oh, our hunger is going up. Eat everything. What is this? Is this like bread? Eat it. Eat it completely. We have meat. Eat that. Oh, that filled our food almost all the way up. Uh, I'm going to stick this food in the back of our truck. Now that there's hunger, we have to bring stuff like this. Um, but boom. We got food. Wait, what? No. The door hit me and it killed me. Are you serious? Okay, boom. Careful with these doors because they are very dangerous. Uh, park and break off. And we are going finally in our pickup truck after a little bit of work. We got it wor working and looking really nice. Uh, I don't know if that engine is gonna stay in the back, but let's head to the road and adventure in this awesome new thing. It's so cool, right, Philip? I feel so bad for him. It looks like he's he's just dying. Philip, don't die on me. You're my best friend. All right, um, where am I going? No clue. We're just gonna survive. We're doing survival things today. Oh, this truck needs a little bit of tuning, but I just wanted to go. Whoa, it drifts so nicely. I've always been saying we need a pickup truck and we finally got it. I wonder if we can make like a little camper in the back eventually once we maybe transfer this engine over to the truck. If you would like to see that though in another episode, let me know. We'll make like an off-road truck. Maybe with like a little bed in the back or something. It'll be so cool. Um, let's see if we can find some more buildings or something. Maybe some more fuel. I guess I could have used the fuel in my other engine or other truck. Whoa, got some light pole. Do a sweet drift. See that? Uh, intentional. It, it, that was totally intentional. I want to see what happens when we hit a cactus with this thing. Here we go! Cactus! Boom. Wow. This thing is awesome. Look how shiny and red it is. Uh, I think I saw a ship to our left somewhere. Oh, wait. There's there's a, bu there's a building coming up. It's one of those big uh, workshops. Oh, rabbits. Oh, rabbits. Get over here. Get over here, you little jerks. I want to hit you with my truck. You're zombie rabbits after all, not regular rabbits. Go, truck. Go. Okay, it doesn't have a lot of pickup, uh, and it says we're kind of low on oil. I do have some, but here we go, you stupid zombie rabbits. Bang. Did I get him? I, I got him. That's what he gets. Uh, what is here? Is that a bicycle on the roof? Well, I don't really want that. Turn off the engine. Uh, we have a brown spray paint. Uh, let's see what's in here. Uh, I can't see. We got another basket. Don't really need that. Oh my gosh, there's so many boxes in this place. Uh, do we got any food though? We got a bun and we got some more cookies. Uh, I might as well eat these. They don't really fill us up very much. And my thirst is going down quite a bit. Can I just drink from the tap? Does this work? Whoa, look at that. My bladder is really full though, it says. Now, this is a little weird for an update where we have to do this, but I guess it works. <laughs> a loaf of bread in the ba back. Uh, boom. And let's hit the road again. Right, Philip? Are you ready? <gasps> I feel so bad for him. We need to we need to give him better appendages, if you know what I mean. We're not totally gonna replace him with a better model of himself. What? Uh, engine? Are you okay back there? You're making some weird noise. Um, I hope it doesn't fly out. And look at this. We're coming up to the greenery area. Uh, green grass, grass. There's a ship up over there. Uh, we might need to get some fuel and some oil in this bad boy. Because it looks like our oil light is low and I don't want to break the engine. Okay, now we're doing some off-roading. It would be really cool to have some bigger tires on this truck. Maybe eventually. But look at this thing. It's going pretty good on this on this grass. Okay, how fast are we going? We're going to hold 132 kilometers per hour in a pickup truck off-road. Where's our fuel indicator? Right there? Oh, we're getting pretty low. But that's okay. I should have probably been watching where I'm going. I almost flew into a dead tree. That would have sucked. I would have died instantly. Uh-oh. Do you hear that? The truck is having some problems. I think we're getting low on oil, which is not good at all. Because if this thing catches fire, we're in trouble. The ship is a little ways away, though. Um, should I just refill? You know what? You know what? 
yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna fill the engine with some oil here. Pop this bad boy open, and look at that. We're really low on oil. So, well, wait, that was water. That was that was water. You guys didn't see that. You you didn't. I thought that was I thought that was oil. Well, it still works. So what am I complaining about? You know, <laughs> we're getting close to the ship. Don't worry about it. We'll get there quick, little truck. You'll be okay. Actually. It looks like the water's working pretty good. The oil light is still on. Just don't look at that. Just don't look at that. That's not nothing to worry about. Uh, I'm surprised I haven't hit one of these rocks. Rabbit, rabbit, stupid jerk, get out of here. But we're getting pretty close to the ship and those usually have a ton of oil and diesel. Please be a ton of drums. Slow down, yeah, look at that. We got a ton of barrels in there. I'm just gonna drive the truck right. Oh, can it go in? Oh yeah, it could go in. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at this. Maybe turn the lights on so we could see in here. Oh, that looks good. And let's maybe, uh, you know, drain the, drain the engine that we filled with, uh, totally oil-like liquids. And just search for some oil and we need some diesel. All these barrels are empty. What? Empty. Oil. Oil! Oil! 52 liters. That'll work. Maybe a little too much. Boom. And fill it up. Four liters. Boom. And look at this right here. 13 liters of diesel. We're going to fill this truck all the way up. And we should be good for a few hundred kilometers, I'm thinking. Okay, grab this. Fill her up. It can hold 40 liters. 26.3 liters of diesel. I think that'll work for now. Now let's get this truck. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, okay, I thought it- oh, I thought it was stuck for a second, but we made it out, and here we go. A little bit of night driving. You can't really- you can't really see me. There's no lights in here, but that's fine. Uh, this is- this is really cool. I like this. Let's get to the road and maybe drive a little bit more. Maybe take a big old nap. Maybe do a nice little drift here like this. Oh, yeah, that was cool. And we finally found more grass. Yes! I love grass in this game. It's so nice. I actually hope it never ends. And here we go. Yeah, yeah, this is cool. Off-road in the grass. How many times have I said this is cool this episode? I'm not too sure. But I'm actually going to leave this episode off here. This was the brand new long drive update. Stay sweet. Bye. I should probably saved before I did this camera. Where am I going? I don't know. I think I'm still on the road.